Hello and welcome to the third video of our visionary AI Assist tutorial series. In this video, we want to configure a rear view collision warning application. The goal is to have two fields, one to detect only people and one to detect any kind of objects. In the end, we will connect a warning lamp and test the setup. In the previous Visionary AI Assist installation video, we positioned and mounted the 3D camera to the VLoader. I recommend watching this video first. My laptop is connected to the device using Ethernet. To access the user interface, open a web browser like Google Chrome and enter the default IP address 192.168.1.10. I log in as service with the default password so that I can change the configuration. Change the visualization to view color image to better understand the scene. First, let's match the mounting position on our machine with the virtual mounting position in the user interface. A correct orientation and positioning is essential for all following steps. The camera is mounted in roughly 2.2 meters height, tilted downwards. Expand the menu on the left, select configuration and then mounting. In the mounting position section on the right, I select the tilted downwards preset which looks similar to my angle and enter 2200 mm as height above the floor. Rotate and move the 3D view to have a good side on the ground alignment. As you can see, the data points of the real ground do not really match to the grid of the virtual ground. Either use the plus minus buttons or the up and down keys on the keyboard at the X angle tilt and the height above the floor to fine adjust the values until the virtual ground aligns with the real ground. As our machine operates on uneven ground, I want to activate the ground filter. When active, the data points around the ground plane are not considered for the field evaluation, making the detection of any objects even more robust. Expand the menu on the left, select configuration and filter and image acquisition. Activate the ground filter on the right. Use the threshold slider to select the distance tolerance around the ground plane, where the data points are ignored. Select a high value for uneven areas. Select a lower value for smoother areas, allowing to react on smaller objects on the ground. In our application, I set the threshold to 10 cm. Now we create two virtual areas in the field of view one warning field, some meters behind the machine, to alert the operator if people are around the machine, and one stopping field directly behind the machine to avoid any kind of collision. Expand the menu on the left, select Application, and then Field Evaluation. Defining the fields in a 2D top view is easier, so I click on the cube icon and select Top. First, select the Add Group button on the right to create a new group. A group is a collection of fields that can be activated or deactivated together. Second, define the first field of this group. Use the pen tool to easily set the rough corners of the warning field. If needed, you can modify the actual millimeter values in the field settings on the right to be more accurate. I change the X values of the closer points to 3000 millimeters and of the more distant point to 7000 mm, and the Y values to 3000 and minus 3000. For the vertical set limits, I keep the lower set limit at 0 mm and set the upper set limit to 2000 mm. Third, configure the evaluation of this field, as the visionary AI assist should only alert the operator if a person is present in the warning field. I select person from the detected objects dropdown. This setting significantly reduces the number of alarms resulting in a higher user acceptance. To make the output settings in a later step easier, change the evaluation name to warning field. Now click the plus icon below the evaluation settings to create an additional field. Define the stop field starting from the machine up to 3 meters distance. 
To avoid any kind of collisions in the near field, set the detected objects to any object. By default, all objects larger than 200 by 200 mm are evaluated as a relevant obstruction. If needed, adapt the minimum horizontal and vertical object size to your needs. Last, change the evaluation name to stop field. Next, let's test if the configuration works as expected. Persons in the field of view are always marked with a pink bounding box, but only evaluated when inside an active field. If a person steps in either the warning field or the stop field, they both turn yellow to indicate a detection. Our test object is only detected in the stop field, close to the machine. Placing it in the warning field does not result in a detection, which is correct, as we only want to detect persons. As a last step, let's connect our fields to a signal lamp for the operator. The lamp is electrically connected to the digital IOs of the visionary AI assist as following. Red light to DIO1, yellow light to DIO2, and green light to DIO3. Expand the menu on the left. Select Configuration and then Inputs and Outputs. Here you can link various sources to digital outputs or react to digital inputs, with many straightforward options to adapt the signals as needed. Change the port name of port 1 to red light. Click the Add Source button and select the Source Stop field. Rename port 2 to yellow light and choose the Source Warning field. Rename port 3 to green light. Here we add both the warning field and the stop field as two sources. Invert their signals and combine them with the operator AND. These settings result in an output signal for the green light if both fields are clear. You can also monitor the status of the outputs in the overview on the right. We can now see the warning lights reacting to our detection fields. The green light is on when there is no detection in any field, using our combined field evaluation. The yellow light is on when there is a detection in the warning field. The red light is on when there is a detection in the stopping field. Besides the IOs, the Visionary AI Assist offers further options for outputting the detection results. The CAN interface, for example, can be easily configured in just a few steps and allows direct integration into the vehicle control system. The external monitor combines the live video signal with visual overlay for the detection status and is a great way to support the operator even further. Last but not least, click Save Permanently in the top right corner. Now, the Visionary AI Assist automatically starts with this configuration after each boot up. Great! And just like that, the Visionary AI Assist is configured to detect people and objects, generate precise warnings, and all within one compact device. Let's see how it works in action.